Welcome back to the channel guys. Finally the 4.91. Hen Jailbreak for the PS3 has been released exactly a week after the 4.91 custom firmware was released. And in this one my boy I'm going to show you exactly how to install it. This will work if you're running 4.91 official firmware or below. And I believe it may even work on certain types of PS3 slims. At the end I will also show you how to update all the homebrew apps that you had from your previous jailbreak. So what are you going to need in order to be successful in jailbreaking your console? Well first you'll need a FAT, 32 formatted USB, this is very easy to do, and many tutorials on Google or YouTube can be found on how to do this. The other things you'll need is a Mac or PC, and then of course a working PS3 running 4.91 or below. If you've got all those then you're good to go. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the number one PS3 channel on the platform. Expect to find PS3 content every other day around these parts. No more waffle guys, let's get into the tutorial. The first step is to make sure that your automatic updates are turned off. This is primary reason why so many lost their jailbreaks when 4.91 was released. Because they didn't turn this off and their console automatically updated as soon as it was turned on. Once you've got that off, we can now move over to the PC. Over here, you're going to want to head to the link in the description to download the latest version of PS3 Hen. This version was literally just released an hour before this video was uploaded. Once you've got it downloaded, then go ahead and extract it using WinRAR to your desktop. This will make it easier to manage. Now go ahead and plug in your USB to your Mac or PC. Now we will need to create a folder on our USB and name it PS3 in all caps. And then inside that folder, create another and call it update in all caps. Once you've done this, you can now drag and drop the update file we downloaded into the USB update folder. Make sure the name of the update file itself is exactly how mine looks because it won't work it, you don't. After doing this, now safely eject the USB and head back over to the console. Okay, so now over on the console, we can prepare ourselves for installing the jailbreak. First and most obvious thing is to make sure you're connected to the internet. Next is to try to update the game via the storage media option. Most of the time you will get an error and you'll need to go into safe mode. To do this, simply turn off your console and then hold the power button until it turns off again. Then you need to release the power button and then hold it again until you hear the three beeps. Then you'll be in safe mode. Simply head over to the system update section and update this way. You'll find it works just fine, although it will take a hot minute or two to actually install. You'll see this 4.91 HFW screen and you know you're on the right track. Next, we will then head over to the Internet Explorer and press Start and type in the PS3 exploit site. I will leave the link in the description that you can copy into your console. Once on their homepage, you'll need to press Triangle and then click on Tools. From here, go to Homepage and save Current Page as your new homepage. Now we can press Triangle to bring up the Tools section then from here go ahead and clear your cookies, the cache and the search history from your PS3's browser. Now in the top left of the site you will see the PS3 hen box. Click on this and then you'll see another box called auto installer. Go ahead and click on that next. From here you'll need to click on the install hen button. You can see this will take quite a while guys so be sure to give it time. You're also likely to get a failed error here. All you need to do is click on the refresh page option when it appears after the fail message, or just simply reset your internet browser and you'll find that fixes the issue. After you back out the internet browser, another download will begin. This will take another 5 or 10 mins, so be sure to give it the time to download. This is the very last step for you. After it's done, you'll notice the hen enabler in your games column and you're good to go, my man. So that's it. You now have the new 4.91 hen firmware installed to your console. If you've updated from a 4.90 hen, or if you lost all your homebrew apps and need to get them again, then I will leave a link in the description for all the up-to-date homebrew that you will need for your console. So what common issues might you run into while installing the jailbreak? First of all, if you're using a super slim and you happen to get the update error message halfway through installing the hen, then this is sadly normal and you will not be able to jailbreak. I have this PS3 slim right here and I've tried countless times to install a hen or a custom firmware and neither have worked. The other issue you might have is when the auto hen installer says about an error at the end of installing, as I say in the video, just make sure you repeat the process at least twice before counting it out. 
Sometimes you need to do it three or four times until you finally get the hen has installed message and your console resets itself. If after recently installing Multiman or Webman and you're having issues running games or the application itself, then this is either because you've got an old version of the homebrew application or that your custom firmware or hen itself is making the application crash. This is quite common on older consoles that are way past their better days. I had a PS3 a few months that was so beaten up that when you launched Multiman, it just froze the entire console until eventually it got the red light of death and that was the end of it. I had to throw the sucker in the trash. What I would recommend if you're having any issues at all with any of the homebrew applications is to just download them again in the description of this video and install it via the FileZilla method. This is the safer and more reliable way of going about installing packages to your PS3. If you find you're getting a constant error message at the final stage of installing the hen jailbreak, then this can be because of a number of issues. The first one is that your console might not be compatible with the hen jailbreak. Some fat and slim versions of the PS3 actually can't be jailbroken. It's sort of a luck of the draw sort of time. However, I'd estimate more than 90% of PS3 consoles can at least have the Shen jailbreak installed. The custom firmware compatibility list is even smaller. Your best bet for a custom firmware is the own, a slim console, like what I use in my videos. The other reason you're getting an error here is because you may have forgotten to set the page as your homepage, or if you didn't delete the cookies and cache, that can also cause it not to work. If you're getting this error, I recommend just restarting the internet browser steps again from the beginning. Sometimes it just doesn't work, guys. It's as simple as that. It is essential that you do not try to install a jailbreak whilst in factory mode. If you do so, you will immediately get your console bricked and the online services will no longer work. We've even heard stories of Sony banning entire home networks from signing up to PSN ever again. So I'd be very careful in that regard, guys. Another problem I've been hearing recently is people getting this error when trying to sign in using a custom firmware or Shen. If you get this error, what you will need to do is delete all of the users from your PS3 and just resign in to the one you want to use. This seems to fix the issue for most people, but if you're still having problems, please leave a comment and I will try help you out best. I can. Well, that's it for this guide today, guys. Finally, we have the 4.91 Hen jailbreak. Finally, those who were unfortunate enough to have auto-update on or accidentally installed the official firmware can breathe easier now. As I said, if you have any question, I'm more than happy to help, and I know for a fact there's a lot of knowledgeable people in the comments who will also help if you need it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for your boy. The CFW video will be dropped once they release the new PS3 toolset update that supports 4.91. Until then, you can only use a hen jailbreak unless you're on an older custom firmware. Then it's relatively easy to update to the latest firmware. Cheers, guys. Take care and peace.